Welcome back everyone. This is the second part of custom confirm dialog. Let's start with writing the JavaScript for the custom confirm dialog. Okay. Let's write this method first. Go to my channel. Function, go to my channel. No argument needed. Okay. So here I'm going to show the default confirm dialog. Do you want to visit the channel? Like you can have any message of your own choice. And if it is true, what I'm going to do is window.location equal to HTTPS. So this will load the uh, load the YouTube channel of mine. Okay. Let's write the second method. Go to my channel custom. Let's scroll up. Okay, no argument is needed. Let me create a custom confirm dialog class object here where custom confirm equal to new function first of all let's write a method to show the custom confirm dialog okay show method function this method will have the argument message this message will be uh, this message will be replaced I mean placed in the body uh, dialog body so and this is the callback method the if the user is pressed ok the callback method will be called otherwise it will be ignored okay let me access the dialog I am sorry document dot get element by ID dialog container and my dialog body equal to so since it's in uh, dialog container so i can get like this query selector and the id of the dialog body is dlg body dlg body yes and dialog style top okay it's already in minus 30 percentage what will happen is it will become 30 and the opacity of this dialog is already zero now we are making it as one and we need to set the dialog body text text content equal to the message and I just want to add the reference of the callback method so I'm sitting in this object so I can have the reference of this method and finally ah we need to show the freeze layer so that user cannot able to access the elements I mean those buttons freeze layer display actually in, in in HTML we said display none so I just want to reset it display equal to so this will show the freeze layer let's test this alone okay when I press the okay I need to call this method I forgot that oh sorry instead of this I'm just going to call custom confirm dot show it needs some message let's copy the same message from here and we need to specify the callback method here so this is the callback method 
let's test it okay something is wrong with this let's check the console okay custom confirm is not defined maybe the spelling yeah yeah now the dialog query selector is not a function again it's eight o'clock let's test yeah it's working okay now we need to write the method to close the dialog okay fine now we have two buttons so we need to write the method for the two buttons this dot ok equal to function so no need for the argument so if ok is pressed we need to call the callback method so this will call the method and not only that we need to close the dialog okay don't forget to write the close method here close where dialog equal to document dot get element by id and dialog container i just want to hide this actually the reverse of this let me copy this better minus 30 percentage and zero and we need to hide the freeze layer also okay two none okay now let me call this method when ok is pressed okay. call this method one it's close is called yes we are done with this javascript part let's test it first default confirm dialog what happened what happened to you okay or i'm sorry for the spelling mistakes yeah if i press cancel it will be simply closed if i press ok yeah it's loading the youtube page let's test our custom confirm dialog okay now i press cancel maybe this is also because of the typos okay okay is working now let's see what is the problem these two buttons yeah click and then this will work and when i press ok this callback method is being called ok now we need to write the callback method also let me copy this line and paste it here fine ok we already tested the conf default confirm dialog let's test just press cancel it's closed now i am pressing ok okay this is all about designing the custom confirm dialog in javascript thanks for watching this video you can download the source code from the below description area if you want to have if you want to ask your questions you can ask it in below comment section thanks for watching this video bye bye